Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 10 of 2020, restructuring the National World Trade Organization Committee under the chairmanship of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. The edict named the following as members of the committee. Commerce Affairs Under Secretary at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Deputy Chairman. Assistant Under Secretary for Domestic and Foreign Trade, the same ministry, Secretary General. Assistant Under Secretary for Industrial de de Development at the same ministry, member. Assistant Under Secretary for Port Affairs at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications, member. Assistant Under Secretary for Financial Relations and Investment at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, member. Director of the Foreign Trade Relations Directorate at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, member. Director of the Organization's Directorate at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, member. Director of Customs Planning and Policy Affairs Directorate at the Ministry of Interior, member. Director of the Public Health Directorate at the Ministry of Health, member. Director of the Financial Stability Directorate at the Central Bank of Bahrain, member. Director of the Planning and Development Directorate at the National Oil and Gas Authority, member. Director of the Foreign Tax Relations Directorate at the National Bureau for Revenue, member. The National Ozone Officer at the Supreme Council for the Environment, member. Chief Executive Officer of Export Bahrain, member. First Deputy Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, member. Chief of Marketing at the Ministry of Information Affairs, member. The edict stated that Edict 33 of 2013 on naming the members of the National WTO Committee was abrogated. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also issued Edict 11 of 2020 amending the classification of controlled narcotic and psychotropic substance schedules annexed to Law 15 of 2007 regarding narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances. The edict adds new substances to the second group, psychotropic substances of Table 2, and the third group, precursors of Table 1, annexed to Law 15 of 2017 regarding narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a remote meeting with the Commander of the United States Central Command, General Kenneth McKenzie Jr. His Royal Highness affirmed that the historical ties continue to increase in all fields with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's strong support for expanded r relations between the two countries and concerted efforts aimed at upholding regional peace and security. His Royal Highness and the U.S. Commander exchanged views on regional and international developments. The BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Nassagir Naimi, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also held a remote meeting with the outgoing U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, Justin Sibiril. His Royal Highness expressed appreciation for the role the Ambassador has played in further strengthening the bilateral ties during his tenure and wished him success in his future endeavors. His Royal Highness noted that advancing these bilateral ties helped deliver mutually beneficial progress and prosperity. The Ambassador expressed appreciation for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and for His Royal Highness's continued support towards the bilateral relations. The Deputy of Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa received the Commander of the United States Central Command, General Kenneth McKenzie Jr., and his accompanying delegation. Defense Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi, BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Naimi, and a number of BDF senior officers were present. The Commander-in-Chief praised the depth of the close and historic relations between Bahrain and the U.S. and discussed means of enhancing cooperation at all levels. Following the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Horse Affairs, Sheikh Adaij bin Salman Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the CEO of Maidan Institution of the UAE, Saeed Al Tayyar, under the framework of the cooperation between the two countries in this sport. Sheikh Adaij affirmed His Highness Sheikh Nasr's keenness to enhance cooperation with the UAE in all fields, including the horse sports. He praised the role of the UAE Deputy President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum in this regard and in hosting international events. Sheikh Daij affirmed that both Bahrain and the UAE are making significant accomplishments in this field on the regional and international levels. He added that the upcoming phase will witness further cooperation between the two countries in this field. 
The Tayyar expressed appreciation for the role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and keenness towards the horse sports for it being a part of the heritage of the kingdom. He affirmed the UAE's keenness to further enhance relations with Bahrain. The two sides then agreed to sign an agreement in the field of equestrian sports. The Kingdom of Bahrain maintained its second place ranking among Arab countries in the e-government development index 2020, ranking it among the very high categories, which was formulated based on the result of a 2020 United Nations e-government survey. The index highlighted the Kingdom's national suggestions and complaint system Tawassal as an example of a successful and innovative official government channel of communication. The system enhanced public participation and government service customer experience, contributing to the Kingdom's high ranking and performance in the e-participation index. The report praised the system's ability to reach the public through multiple electronic channels, including the national portal Bahrain.bh and the Tawassal app. The report affirmed the significant progress achieved by the Kingdom in the Human Capital Index, reflecting the long-standing advanced quality of its primary education system and its efforts to raise the education and schooling indicators. The Bahrain Institute for Political Development, in partnership with the Representatives Council, organized an electronic lecture entitled Parliamentary Diplomacy for MPs. The e-lecture was presented by Bahrain's ambassador to Germany, Abdullah Abdel Latif Abdullah, in which he reviewed the political and legal framework for Bahraini parliamentary diplomacy, regional and international relations and soft power, in addition to defining the characteristics of parliamentary and traditional diplomacy. The ambassador praised the reforms of His Majesty the King that contributed in setting the political and legal framework for Bahrain parliamentary diplomacy, putting Bahrain as a pioneering model in various fields. The ambassador affirmed the importance of strengthening regional, international and parliamentary diplom diplomatic relations through the participation of MPs in the em embassy celebrations in the kingdom and their attendance of international and regional meetings, stressing the importance of keenness in unifying the message in line with Bahrain's policies. The Ministry of Housing called on all citizens benefiting from housing services or have filed applications to register their personal data in the national notification system. The system was launched in line with the objectives of the Executive Committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. It is among several projects and national initiatives to develop and aut automate government services and offer them at the highest levels of quality to citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,535, with 615 recoveries, 431 registered new cases, and three deaths. 228 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 201 are contacts of active cases, and two are travel-related. The deceased are a 68-year-old citizen, a 48- and a 28-year-old, 29-year-old expatriates. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.